Darren Rovell, First in Thirst, How Gatorade Turned the Science of Sweat into a Cultural Phenomenon. Get ready to dive into the incredible story of Gatorade, a sports drink that has become a cultural phenomenon and carved out a dominant market share. In A First and Thirst, How Gatorade Turned the Science of Sweat into a Cultural Phenomenon by Darren Rovell, we embark on a journey that started with the investigation of the science behind hydration and athletic performance at the University of Florida in the 1960s. Explore how Gatorade transformed from a drink meant to help college football players avoid dehydration to a powerhouse brand, with thousands of sponsorship deals, a massive advertising budget, and a loyal following among athletes and non-athletes alike. The Rise and Reign of Gatorade Gatorade has revolutionized the sports drink industry and cemented its place in popular culture. With a massive advertising budget, lucrative sponsorship deals, and a market share of 80%, it is the go-to drink for athletes and enthusiasts worldwide. Its diverse applications range from boosting energy levels in rock stars and soldiers to saving lives in extreme situations. The drink's success can be attributed to its claims of superior rehydration, which have helped it dominate the competition from other sports drink brands. Gatorade has become an iconic brand, ranking alongside the likes of Coca-Cola and Pepsi, and shows no signs of slowing down as it expands across the globe. The Birth of Gatorade Discover how Gatorade was born and how it revolutionized sports hydration. In the 1960s, athletes competing in the heat suffered from heat-related illnesses, and some football players even died from overheating. Drinking water during games often led to stomach aches, and salt tablets caused leg cramps. Dr. Robert Cade, an assistant professor of medicine, was seeking a remedy for these problems when he met with the assistant coach of the University of Florida's football team. They decided to research the composition of human sweat and discovered that the body would absorb a glucose and salt drink faster than plain water. The doctors theorized that if football players had a drink that hydrated them by replenishing their lost fluids, they would have more strength in the fourth quarter than their opponents. Florida head football coach Ray Graves agreed to let the doctors test their drinks on his freshman team. Using two players per daily practice as subjects, the doctors collected sweat samples, urine, and blood samples. On one hot day, two players lost 25% of their body's sodium, a potentially dangerous situation. The doctors decided to seek the right concoction to replace the sodium that sweat drained away. In 1965, Gatorade was born. The drink was scientifically formulated to replace the fluids and electrolytes lost during physical activity. It was first given to the Florida Gators football team, and it proved to be incredibly effective. The team went on to have one of their best seasons ever, earning the nickname, the Super Gators. Gatorade then began to be used by other college teams and eventually professional athletes. Gatorade's success was due to the strategic exploitation of weaknesses in the soft drink model while building up the brand's own strength. The doctor's scientific approach stood in contrast to the popular belief that drinking during games was a sign of weakness. They created a revolutionary drink that changed the way athletes hydrate. Playboy and Penthouse, Marlboro cigarettes, and Gatorade became must-have items for every convenience store. Today, Gatorade is a beloved sports drink that is used by athletes around the world. It all started with a group of doctors looking for a solution to a problem that nobody else seemed to be able to solve. Their scientific approach revolutionized the sports drink industry, and the world of hydration has never been the same since. The Origins of Gatorade Learn how Gatorade originated from a football team's need to stay hydrated and how it became a game-changer in the sports drink industry. Gatorade is one of the most popular drinks in the sports world, but do you know its origin story? The average human body is 65% water, and when you perspire, you lose fluids needed for proper body function, resulting in dehydration, headaches, dizziness, muscle cramps, and heat stroke. The University of Florida football team faced this challenge during training in the hot and humid Florida weather. Two doctors, Cade and De Quesada, were determined to help the team stay hydrated and thought that water alone wasn't enough. 
They created a drink that was a mix of sodium, potassium, glucose, and lemon juice to produce fast energy release and make it more palatable. The hydration liquid was tested during a game between Florida Gators freshmen and B squads, the freshmen drank the new drink, while the B team drank water. The result? The freshmen had more energy and won the game. After making some changes to the recipe, including removing the lemon juice and enhancing the flavor, Gatorade was tested again with the varsity team, yielding impressive results. The players enjoyed the drink and felt it provided more energy than water. Gatorade soon became a staple for the team during practices and games and proved to be effective in preventing bloating and quickly moving through the stomach and into the bloodstream. Gatorade's popularity grew, and it was soon made available to the public. The brand played off the fact that Pepsi's drink was carbonated and dubbed their ads, Physiology vs. Physiology. Today, Gatorade is one of the leading sports drinks globally, and the name is synonymous with hydration and energy. The Untold Story of Gatorade's Origin and Triumph In the mid-60s, two doctors created a drink that helped the Florida Gators, paving the way for Gatorade. Despite a promising start, they couldn't garner marketing momentum until a chance encounter led to a deal with Stokely Van Camp, leading to a $30 million payout over the next 40 years. The success of Gatorade was also dependent on its system and retail selling methods, culminating in a five-year court battle over royalty distribution with the University of Florida and the federal government. Despite the challenges, Gatorade remained the most dominant brand in the U.S. sports drink market. Gatorade, Marketing Lessons from the Game This passage tells the story of how the sports drink, Gatorade, became a powerhouse in the industry and provides valuable marketing insights. In 1967, Stokely paid $25,000 for Gatorade to become the NFL's primary sports drink, and by 1969, the product had gained national attention. Quaker Oats later purchased Stokely in 1983, and Gatorade became its major product. However, Quaker did not use professional athletes in their marketing campaigns for the first seven years of ownership, despite using athletes to promote other Quaker products since 1934. In 1990, Quaker approached Michael Jordan to endorse Gatorade, which became a massive success. The passage also highlights Gatorade's competition with Coca-Cola's Powerade and Pepsi's All Sport, which fell short of Gatorade's unique benefits. Gatorade's marketing team was successful by spending 80% of its ad budget during the summer and using the remaining budget in warm sunbelt cities. Gatorade's marketers followed nine essential principles to achieve success, including making a unique product, learning from mistakes, and developing an emotional connection with the product. Additionally, Gatorade opened new markets, especially small convenience stores, and utilized their $81 million advertising budget wisely. Gatorade's success led to Pepsi's acquisition of Quaker in December 2000. As we conclude our exploration of Gatorade's meteoric rise, we can appreciate how its success was a result of hard work, strategic marketing, and good science. The drink's creators took an idea rooted in scientific research and turned it into a powerful brand with significant cultural impact. By understanding its target audience and creating strong emotional links to their product, Gatorade has secured its position as the leader in the sports drink industry. As competitors Coca-Cola and Pepsi tried to enter the market, Gatorade held its own by staying true to its values and continuing to offer consumers a superior product backed by science. Its story serves as an inspiration to anyone seeking to build a brand with staying power, 